Welcome to a tutorial on how to navigate the FarmCast School Directory and compare programs feature. To begin, go to the FarmCast website at www.farmcast.org and select the School Directory button on the home page or the top menu bar. In the FarmCast School Directory, each FarmD program has its own page with important deadlines, requirements, and descriptions, which will help you plan your application strategy. 10 filters are offered on the directory homepage to help you find the programs best suited to you. You can use the filters to find programs by geographic region, state location, and this includes searching by online or distance pathways, as well as international program offerings, PCAT admission requirements, as well as public or private status. The primary program structure is also offered as a filter and refers to the minimum number of years of pre-pharmacy and professional study required by each school. For instance, some schools will accept students directly from high school into what are known as zero through six or zero through seven programs, while other schools require students to complete two, three, or four years of pre-pharmacy coursework before they enroll in the PharmD program for three to four additional years, depending on the school. The accreditation status filter is next. PharmD programs are accredited by the Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education, or ACPE, and must graduate their first class before they can become fully accredited. You must graduate from an accredited program to practice pharmacy in the US. A pharmacy school with no ACPE status to date has no students enrolled and is waiting on its initial accreditation review. If you apply to a school with no status, you must apply to at least one other program in FarmCast. A pre-candidate program also has no students enrolled, but has met all accreditation requirements to date. A candidate program has students enrolled and has met all requirements to date, but has not yet graduated its first PharmD class. Next, we have the CAG status filter. CAG refers to the Cooperative Admission Guidelines. These are admissions traffic rules for pharmacy schools. This filter will let you know which pharmacy schools participate in the CAG. CAG schools expect their applicants who are holding multiple acceptances on or after March 1 to quickly decide where they want to enroll. If you apply to a CAG school, go to the CAG page on the FarmCast site to learn more. Use the evaluations or references filter to determine if evaluations or letters of reference are required by your institution. You will then want to visit the directory page of a selected school to learn how many evaluations are required and what types are required, accepted, recommended, or not accepted from your desired programs. The final two filters are related to deadlines. Pharmacy schools may choose to set a priority deadline to encourage applicants to apply earlier in the admission cycle. Priority deadlines are non-binding. You may apply to one or more schools with a priority deadline or apply to a school after the priority deadline has passed and before the final enforced deadline has passed. Visit the directory page of a school to determine whether they have any requirements or incentives for applicants who apply by the priority deadline. Finally is the final deadline filter, which is the enforced deadline. Applicants are encouraged to submit applications at least two weeks before their school's final deadline, as FarmCast processing may take up to two weeks once all required materials are received. All FarmCast final deadlines expire at 11.59 p.m. Hawaii time. The school directory allows you to apply one or multiple filters to the list. To demonstrate, I'm gonna search for programs in the Southeast region where the PCAT is optional. The PCAT refers to the Pharmacy College Admission Test, which is a standardized entrance exam required or accepted by some pharmacy schools. Once the desired filters are selected, click Apply Filter, and the results will adjust to fit your selections. 
From here, you can also choose a selection of programs to compare side by side to narrow down your search. Ready to move on to a different search? Click Clear to remove any selected filters. You can always look here to ensure you are back to the full results versus a narrowed down search. One other feature we want to highlight is the option to download a CSV file of all programs by clicking the Download File button. The CSV file replicates the complete table below that includes the institution and program name, location, whether public or private, the priority deadline, the final deadline, and the program structure. Keep in mind that some pharmacy schools may have more than one campus or pathway and therefore may be listed more than once. Another valuable resource to help you plan your application strategy is the Compare PharmD Programs feature. Each dynamic report pulls from the same data found on the school directory pages. For instance, click the Enrollment Options table to find schools that offer early assurance programs to undergraduate students. Schools generally invite students to participate in an early assurance program during their freshman or sophomore year of college. If these students successfully complete the school's pre-pharmacy requirements, they advance to the PharmD curriculum through an expedited process. You can also use this table to find schools with accelerated three-year programs, articulation agreements with specific feeder schools, or online program options. I'll now return to the main Compare Programs page. Curious how each program conducts their interviews? Click Interview Type to find the data in an easy to view table. Similar to the directory, you can choose a selection of programs to compare side by side. Additionally, you can also download a CSV file of the information to compare or manipulate the data in a way that is helpful to you in your search. This report mimics the results on the live table. Back on the main Compare Programs page, I will briefly highlight a few other tables. If you would like to pursue a dual degree program, such as a PharmD MBA or a PharmD PhD, visit this comparison table for a quick view of these programs to date. The Supplemental Materials table is another great tool and will let you know whether you will need to send a separate application fee and or other materials directly to the school and outside of FarmCast when you apply. Visit the directory page to learn how to submit these materials to the school if required. Another helpful resource is the Summary of Course Prerequisites. This PDF report compiles the number of semester hours required per prereq course and school. If you scroll down to the last page, you will find the total number of schools that require courses in each subject area. For instance, at a quick glance here, no matter where you apply, it's pretty much guaranteed that you will need to take chemistry. Be sure to visit the directory page for each school to learn more, such as whether a lab is required and what type of classes are accepted. If you have questions about school-specific requirements, contact the school by using the contact information at the top of every directory page. If you have general questions about FarmCast, please contact info at farmcast.org or use the live chat feature. Be sure to follow FarmCast on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for helpful application tips and deadline reminders throughout the FarmCast cycle. I hope this overview has been helpful and you are better prepared to find the best pharmacy school for you.